everybody got the ear set up. We're sitting right about 80, or less than 80. Let me bump it. A little bump. There you go, perfect. Got the valve open to the pump. Cleared out the line with water. Let's see what kind of distance we get with this 17 gallon a minute all flow with this 14 CFM. 14 CFM at 90. So I'm gonna start right here at this little crack here. Right here at this crack. Just normal shooting. You see it right there. Still got air in the system. You see it. There you go, crank it up, baby. See what kind of distance we get. And get the wheel out. Okay, got the wheel out. Sorry about that. So we're on a line. Zero out. Zero out. Check it out. I'm gonna blow this driveway off is what I need to do. Fifty foot to the end. Fifty and a half foot. Wow. Not too shabby. Never pulled bleach through it yet, so let's try that. Let's try to get some bleach in here. Let's put this over here. Maybe we can wash that dude's house. Let's go see. That's my neighbor. Just tightening things up, you know? Trying to get the air, the air bubbles out and everything, so. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're getting, all right, let's try to get some bleach. All right. Let's see if we're getting air. Yeah, it looks like we're still getting some air from the left side. I may have to double clamp everything what it was looking like. Try to tighten it up a little bit. That looks to be a little loose. Try to tighten this one up a little bit. That clamp don't look right, but let me see. Coming through water here. Tight. That's tight. Get that help. Still getting some air. See it? Yeah. It's this smooth though. Let's see if we switch it to bleach. We don't want to go all the way on bleach. We'll go right at two and a half. Switch it to bleach. Let's see. I do have a check valve in the tank. Let's see if it sucks bleach. We have the primer. Get a lot of, oh yeah. Okay, see it primer up. Prime up right there. And how you prime it is like this. Yeah, now we're getting bleed. See it? All right, now we primed up. So let's open this all the way. Cut this back a two and a half. Yeah, we're, now we're getting bleach. Probably put a little soap on there too. We got a three eighths line so we don't have to go as big. Yeah, it looks like the bleach is good. No bubbles from the bleach.
Look good. Yeah, there we go. I right, hold on, I'll put you on my head. Alright, let's see if there's a bleach. Not quite yet. Getting close. Make sure we got enough water in here too. Oh, that's bleach. Yeah, I can see this working for a software system. So let me turn the bleach off. In fact, I'm just going to switch it for H2O. I got the new compressor smell, baby. Trying to get used to it, you know? Running out the line, baby. All the dirt's already gone. That's water. No more 12 volt blues, baby. No more 12 volt blues, baby. Yeah, I've got some water in the tank now. So I was using this tip that I just kind of had around uh, 0040. 0040 tip. See you there? And Lori Smith sent me. Let's see if we can see this. Uh, well, I don't know what tip this is. One is a uh, 2520, 2520, 2515. So different fan tips. And then two different. Uh, let's see, there's some writing on here, but I, I really can't see it. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure what that is. But I want to try that skinny, that small one for distance, see if we can get that 50 foot. Maybe we we'll get 54, 55. And then they got the bigger, the bigger tip. But this tip I got here on mine, let's see. 
Much bigger. See it? So much bigger. So I don't know. All right, let me crank this thing up. Let's get a uh, distance check. This is my line. I'm going to put my gun right here. So we're going to go ahead and get that set up. Had to get some water on the line. Let me show you how this thing works. So it's what I do. Or what I researched. They say leave the valve open. I'm going to crank it. Got this valve closed because this feeds the pump. Let's see. Turn the fuel on. Turn the switch on. Go. And it will let that drain. You see a little bit of air in there. I mean, a little bit of water sometimes, but it was running earlier. So, a little bit of water. And like I said, I got the right tank 90 teed into here and then out here. So it's one drain, but for both tanks. We'll turn this on so that feeds the pump and this is supposed to be a little this is kind of a pain this this regulator can't even open it well I'll deal with that later so let's see what we get we'll go from this crack again let's just see if it works Open the crack again. Got the wind picking up. So that one, kind of leave it right there. All right, let's see what that is. Where's my where's my wheel of deal? Let's see. Let's go right here. Zero it out. Check it out. All right, 38 foot. That's 38 on the pencil, but very tight in the, uh, we'll do this. Let's, let me switch this out to the bigger one. Okay bigger orifice all right ready I'm gonna go to the left of that Looking good all right let's get a measurement on that I'm gonna kick stand up zero it out We were able to get more distance, so let's see. Forty-four foot. Forty-four. And then I go back to the big one. Let's see how that looks. Just trying try tips out here. It fell down here, so. So let's see. Hold on a second, guys. This is, the, this is the much bigger one. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to go to the right here. Okay, ready? Let's go. Look at that sucker shooting. All right. Try it out. Come right here, this crack. Zero it out.
yeah that's the furthest tip so far and we are at 51 foot what's up dave 51 foot dang that's pretty nice I like it well, let's go check let's go check the uh air bubbles i may need to run the home deficit to get some more clams i should have bought two packs while i was there but i didn't Check our air bubbles. Oh, wait. Hold on. Easy. No bubbles. Well, I think we got it fixed. The other thing is, really what I like about this is this. So let's say we need air. I can turn this off. Like that. Run this out. Run that out like that. So you need air. You can plug in right here, air your tires up, do your transfer and your bleach. So I'm gonna get that set up too right away. Uh, so yeah, loving it, loving it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Loving it. Of course, it's new to me, so it's like a bike. But yeah, it's good. I am going to double clamp all this. So I do need another pack of clamps. I may not go today, but maybe tomorrow when I'm out, when we're out working, I can grab a couple of these, another pack, and just double up, you know. <laughs> double up. I double up here, stop the leak, just double everything up. Just makes sense to do it. All right, guys. That's about it for the video. Just wanted to kind of give you a little, a little hands-on with the air pump with my experience to date. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my water and we have a tank. So, and uh, compressor's really good. The only thing I like to do, I thought about bolting it down to the trailer just for theft purposes. Of course, we live in a pretty good neighborhood, but then I think about it and it's like, well, maybe I just put the strap on here just to hold it in place because if we ever need to move it, take it off, it's just to unplug air hose, move it, you know, it's pretty simple. But I don't know what we're gonna do. Don't know yet. We will figure it out. All right, guys, this is us, this is me. Ask me any questions to date. I may, give me any advice too because I may be doing this all wrong. Who knows, but you know, at the end of this water valve, we do have a check valve in the tank. In case this goes out, the bleach won't go in the tank. So we got that, you know, just kind of like the AR setup. I got to mark this indicator with bleach to let us know where we at. But yeah, looking good. I'm ready. Let's do it. Catch up. Peace.